ok hi assalamualaikum so this video uh, part 3 is actually uh, to answer some of the question from your friends ok the question that have been asked to me ok uh, the first thing about the table ok this is the table so one of the question is how to print in the form of pdf ok yes uh, uh, I have mentioned about the print but ok you are not going to print and send it to me but you need to print in the form of pdf so how we are going to uh, print this one just choose file and then go to the print preview so when you have a print preview you are going to get a set of your data this is the print preview before you choose the word print so when you go to the word print you can change to microsoft print to pdf okay so you are going to have your info in the form of uh, this is what we call the data sheet view and another one you want to have in the design view so the same thing goes to this one go to file but you do not have a uh, print preview for this one so what you're going to do so uh, what we call you just can print screen for this one okay uh, you are going to use print screen or you can use snipping tool what is snipping tool okay I'm going to type okay so this is the app uh, of a snipping tool can you see this one the app of snipping tool so you can just uh, which part do you want to print for example okay so you can choose this one the snipping tool how to spell it s n i p p i n g t u o a t o o l or you can use the print screen in your uh, laptop or computer so the best is a uh, snipping tool because you can uh, adjust uh, which part do you want to save as pdf and then you can convert to pdf okay next uh, regarding the question about the form okay next you're going to create a form okay so student asked me how to make it into one column so what happened when you have a lot of fields it will be divided into two section okay so just drag and drop okay i'm going to drag this one and drop it here same thing goes to this one okay Okay, just drop and drop. Alama, my baby. Shh. Harun. Okay. After you have completed this one, go to the form view and then you have your, uh, what we call your form in one view. Okay. So what happened to this one? It has to scroll down. So just change this one. Uh, hold on, I'm going to add the button. Wait. Okay, so I have added uh, what we call the button. Okay, you can see that uh, it happened here. It uh, changed to the uh, what we call not the text box. Harun. Okay. Good job, eh? Okay, so how you're going to change this one? First, go to the layout view. If you want to change anything, just go to the layout view. So, actually, this one uh, have uh, is uh, turned into the what we call a uh, list box. So, you go to the change. Uh, we are not going to have uh, we are not going to have the list box, but just right click, just choose change to text box. Okay, so you have done there. Okay, how about this one? Make sure. This one is uh, go to the list box first and then change to the task box. Okay. How about spouse name? Don't worry, just change this one. Right click, not list, go to the list box first and then change to the 
text box Okay The same thing goes to this one Go to the list box first And then change to the text box Okay, but the status Okay uh, The status you want to have a list box, list box Okay, so never mind this one You can do that one Okay So I'm going to change into the form view Okay, you can see that You have your uh, form view of your form Okay uh, This one is happening the same Okay so uh, I think because we drag and drop No worries Right click change and then go to the list box Change again to the text box Okay So the same thing go to this one Go to the Okay So now you get your form Very small form Okay So um, Another one Okay, uh, you can choose to have a theme of your form. Okay, like this. Okay, uh, for example, I'm going to choose this kind of theme. Okay, so let's change into the form view. So this is what your form will look like. Or you want to have a background of your form. Go back to the layout view. And then go to the... Uh, format and choose background image okay so for this one I'm going to add this one okay so but the picture is too big uh, I'm going to look for uh, if I have smaller picture about the doctor I'm not sure if I have it or not uh, never mind just choose this one okay for example okay so Go to the okay. When you have done that one, go to the home. Go to the form view. So this is what your form will look like. Okay. So we are going to add some a uh, few what we call data here. So I'm going to add a few data. Uh, hold on. Give me a second to add this one. I'm going to pause first the video. Okay. So when you have done key in all the data, so you need to uh what we call print in the form of uh in the view uh form view. This is the form view. Again, for form you have three view, form view layout view. But you need to submit to me the form view. So this is the form view. Okay. So just press print uh print and then print preview before you save. So this is the form of view. Okay. So, uh, the rest is the information for the rest, I think. Yes, what you have key in. So, I'm not sure what happened to mine. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm going to change course this one. This is the form view. Go to the print. Go to the print and then choose to PDF. So I'm going to take a look what happened to this one. Go to the desktop only. Oh, no name here. H. Right? Printing. <laughs> Okay, so this is the form. Okay, but I'm not sure why my form uh, have more than uh, more than apa, what I have inserted previously. Okay, this is actually a dummy one. But for your form, it's supposed to have one here. Okay, not supposed to have like mine. Okay. Make sure you scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. Wait. Okay, um, uh, how you are going to check? Go to the layout view and then you go scroll down. Nothing here. Go to the design view and then take a look on your form. Yes, according to your design view, you only have your form until here. Maybe you need to choose the pages and they. Okay, so far. Green print preview. Yes, I'm not sure what happened to mine, but hopefully not. It's supposed not to happen to you like this. Okay, so you can change this one into PDF. See, you have it here. 
print preview PDF okay Harun no okay so regarding the information here oh I'm going to add some more info here wait okay uh, so the next question uh, by the student uh, is uh, what what uh, okay the sorting okay the query what happen when you want to have a query so I'm going to create a query here so the question asked by the student is uh, he or she cannot setting the uh, uh, what we call the ascending so I'm going to change the name of the patient the spouse name and also the number of a children okay finish so here we go you have your query so what happened here you can see you cannot do the sorting right okay you see this one you cannot do the sorting okay so but the first query uh, the name of the patient is uh, not uh, sorting according to the alphabetic but for example the question asks you to sorting alphabetical order for the spouse name so how you're going to do this uh, go to the design view again I repeat from this one data sheet of the query go to the design view and then which one do you want to set the spouse name okay so click here choose the ascending as simple as that and then go back to the data sheet view and then you can see the spouse name is according to the alphabetic order can you see this one b r s and t and the partner is the same okay so you have sorting according to the alphabetic by using the query okay so what else the question asked me uh, about the form I'm not sure what happened to my form okay but if you take a look on the form uh, accordingly I'm going to uh, show to you this is the form interface it's supposed to when you print out you're supposed to have this kind of form I'm not sure what happened to my form because when I'm going to have a print preview it have it happen like this see I'm not sure whether I'm not going to complete this form or not I'm not sure okay because this is the dummy one I just created it uh, a second ago okay a few minutes ago before I start this video okay so by the way I think I have answered your question okay hopefully uh, you can choose what we call uh, go to the form view okay this is the form view you can you can choose the what we call um, the snipping tool to snap your form okay so you can choose the background I'm not sure whether it related to the uh, photo that I have I have choose uh, I'm trying to change the photo first the layout view it's still the same yes go to the format background image I think maybe it depends to the photo. So I'm going to use the print preview. Yes. So you are going to have this one. Maybe one. Is it more than one printed pages? Just one page. Ah, okay. Just one page. Because the page is too big. Yes. Okay. Okay. See here, one page. Ah, two page more page but you just want one page this is the portrait can you see this one this is the landscape if you want to have a landscape okay but again you want to have a uh, what happened to my phone I'm not sure okay uh, this is the snipping tool but hopefully I, I think your form is not work and it's not uh, going to be like me okay just drag and drop make sure you do not have uh, the equal like uh, the equal I mean the duplicate form just like my uh, dummy this is the, the dummy actually okay so that's it for now hopefully uh, I'm answering all your question uh, how to print out how to uh, sort it, uh, sorting according to the queries and then how to make it as one paragraph especially the form okay do you want to say no okay but if uh, you may not manage to have that kind of form you just uh, make sure you do not delete the table but you just can create the form again
Okay, see, you just can create the form. So, I'm going to make sure how about this one. Go to the print, print preview. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. It will happen like this. So, if you have a lot of what we call, because you key in the data in the form. Okay, because you key in the data in the form. So, never mind. If you have 10 pages, just print out the 10 pages. Never mind. So, make it as beautiful as you can. You can add the picture or the background to your form. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, okay, so this is what we call my dummy for in order for me to answer your question. Okay, thank you so much class.